This A-level IB biology video is on the nitrogen cycle and I started out by making the statement that the Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen. So we know there's a huge amount of nitrogen around, but how can we actually use that nitrogen? How can it become a part of living organisms? Well, the crucial first step is that it must be chemically processed by nitrogen fixing bacteria. Now they take that nitrogen in the air and they convert it into nitrates which are added to the soil. Where do we find nitrogen fixing bacteria? Well, they're found on the root nodules of leguminous plants. And here's a picture of a leguminous plants with these very characteristic nodules. Examples of leguminous plants include peas, beans, and clover. So the more the farmer plants these sorts of crops, the more fertile their soil will be, and that's because lots of nitrates have been added to the soil. So the nitrates present in the soil are absorbed by plant roots, specifically the root hair cells. Now the root hair cell gives a very large surface area for absorbing as many of those nitrates as possible. And because they're moving from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration, they're going to be entering that plant by active transport. But why does the plant go to so much effort to absorb these nitrates? Well, that's because nitrates are obviously rich in nitrogen and they're used to build proteins in plants. Now, lots of consumers feed upon plants and so you can see how that nitrogen would easily be transferred from one organism to another. And depending on the length of that food chain, that nitrogen could move from the plant producer to a primary consumer and onwards to a secondary and tertiary consumer. Now, because the nitrogen cycle is a cycle, we need to work out how this nitrogen will end up back into the atmosphere. So our first step for the return of nitrogen is the fact that all organisms die and decomposers are responsible for taking those dead bodies and producing ammonia out of them. So decomposers carry out ammonification those decomposers, by the way, include things like fungi and bacteria, and in the end they're going to produce ammonium, which is NH4+. The next step is super important because what happens at this point is that that ammonium gets converted first into nitrites and then into nitrates, so I'm just going to add their formula here. This is carried out by a special group of bacteria known as nitrifying bacteria, and as such this process is known as nitrification. Now, frustratingly, also present in the soil are annoying little bacteria which will take those nitrates and convert them into nitrogen gas in the air. And that's really annoying because we already said how important these nitrates are for increasing the fertility of the soil so that the plants can make plenty of plant protein. However, you do need to know their names and as you might guess, they're called denitrifying bacteria and they carry out denitrification. I don't think many exam boards will want you to know this, but if you're asked for examples of nitrifying and denitrifying bacteria, your nitrifying bacterial names are Nitrobacter and Nitrosomonas. And in terms of denitrifying bacteria, you've got lots of options, including Lactobacillus. 